Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we finally have the moving vlog I just want to sit down and chat a little bit because I'm quite stressed So basically what's been going on right now the house is completely empty. We only have the bed We have master's paperwork ready and we are going to give the house back to the owners Because in case you didn't know we don't own this house. We were just renting so we're gonna give it back tomorrow So today we're just gonna make sure that nothing's left here and we're gonna go sleep at a friend's house It's gonna be our last night a day in the city i would love to say that i'm actually sad about living but not really i've been wanting to just start this move for so long but right now it just feels like it's happening so i'm just excited about that today when we empty the house how i pack the rest of my bags that i have in the other room so i'm gonna take you to do that with me i'm gonna be super messy haven't slept much this past couple of days and i've moved a ton of times but like from city to city this is the first time that i actually have to sell every thing that I own and start from scratch in Barcelona so every knife every fork every plate anything that we owned that was not like my bags maybe clothing and some things here and there we sold everything and we got rid of everything so it's been quite hectic around here I'm also gonna pack with you my airplane bag with my Chanel Deville and how I'm gonna pack the Hermes bags because I was left only with my Birkin Skellies and a couple of bags like my classic flap so I'm gonna put those in my carry-on show you how I'm gonna do it pack the rest of my clothing we already shipped the boxes right now we're just gonna spend around a month at polo's parents house because i am spanish but polo is not spanish he needs his visa and while they grant the visa we just need to stay somewhere not here because we need to leave the house so it's gonna be like two different sets of moves because right now we're just gonna travel to polo's parents house and then from polo's parents house we're gonna travel to barcelona i hope that i can vlog a little bit during our stay i think that we're gonna go to san francisco so that's gonna be exciting and we might go to a family beach trip so that's gonna be fun too if we go we went to the beach trip i'm here i'm editing the video here so yeah we we get a beach trip video from here you're gonna start seeing a couple of vlogs i hope that you like them if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos oh in case anyone is interested this has been my handbag throughout this couple of days and i've been loving it i know that i unboxed it like by the time that i'm filming this i unboxed it quite recently and it's been great everyday bag i'm loving it so so much so if anyone was hesitant to get the monsters in the pm the vintage version i highly highly recommend it so here we have masha i think we're gonna take her today for a bath okay guys i think that we are done with this so here we have the two carry-ons that's Polo's luggage and here's my reveal that I'm gonna show you what I have inside that is my keeple and let me show you how I'm packing my carry-ons okay so this is my remover <laughs> and this is the second time that we take packs with it so here we have my black Birkin 25 and this is my gold Birkin 25 so the way that I take this with me it's actually quite easy because they fit perfectly fine so I put them like this and then I grab the second one and I put it here like this so they are kind of like on top of each other but they support each other at the same time and at the bottom here we have my vintage monsteries which I've been using almost every single day I have uh, one of Masha's little toys here she really, really loves this one so I'm taking this and this is it so when you close this you're gonna see that it actually fits perfectly so that's how this one is gonna go but let me open it up because i don't want them to be like this until saturday and this is the second carry-on this is polos and here we have a little bit of a mix <laughs> so this is my Hermes pillow that i just took the inserts off and here we have my kelly and this is my kelly in vert de gris you can see the handle right there and this is my green classic flap a little bit and here is my white lady dior so they're basically like on tetris mode here so classic flap lady dior and kelly and on top of them i'm gonna put the Hermes pillow and just close this so let me do that look who came to visit hi gorgeous so as i was saying let's close this and here we have a little bit of a mess here inside this dust bag we have my mac mini which is my desk computer here it is which i plan to take with me we have my microphone and this is my nintendo yes i still play with my switch i think that's pretty much it with this one okay anyway let's go right now with the keypo 
This is the one that Paul is gonna bring with him. So here's my niece Bibi with my makeup. Here we have water for Masha. I don't know if she's thirsty. Maybe she is. Yeah. I think she's not thirsty. So this is actually really, really good because it just takes the water back in. I just don't like to have it on because I'm scared that she's gonna choke or something. So I just want her to be completely comfortable. So that's why she doesn't have it on. Sunglasses. So let's take the veil and film a what's in my bag. Let's go to the bedroom. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We basically only have the bed here. So let's put the back here. Okay, I'm back. Excuse me for the mess. Just wanted to say sorry for the echo. When I was filming this video, the room was completely empty and I was not using my good microphone. So the audio is not the best. I wanna apologize in advance, but it is what it is. So here's the bag in question. This is my Duvel and I think I have the largest size. And I usually travel with it with this strap thingy. So I got this off Amazon so you can just strap it to your luggage handle and you're set. So let's take everything out. So the first thing that I have is my Hermes Kelly to go in blue bloom. And this one I travel with it because here's where I have my credit cards, anything that I'm not really wanting to go inside the bag. So I'm gonna cross but this one besides taking this one with me. A pair of sunglasses, probably just gonna put them on. And this bag is gonna get super heavy because I'm taking my computer, which is a MacBook 16 inch. Polo's computer, which is a regular MacBook. So you can see the difference in sizes like Mine is massive. Kind of wanna downsize a little bit, but with the same amount of like capacity, which I think that you can have them custom made. Now I have my Van Cleef little box. Usually I put here my jewelry when I travel and I put it inside my bag. I have inside my ring this one because I've been going a lot of places and I really wanna have it on. Of course, my vintage Kelly, I have it inside the bag because I don't wanna put it inside the luggage and it's quite big for that. So that's one of the reasons why I really love having this massive tote it's just very very practical for that and i did decide to put this toolie on my kelly i love the way that it looks with it this is actually chanel and it was a christmas gift so do we like how it looks with this toolie or no i think i kind of prefer it without the toolie but now that we're traveling i just decided to put toolies on all my bags so let's put the dust bag back on my wallet with extra cards because i'm already taking my kelly to go but this one has some cards two lip glosses this one that is tinted but this one i really really love it. It's called Hangover Pillow Balm by Too Faced. I'm gonna try to focus on it. I really like and recommend this one and this one is also quite pretty. Like let me put it on and you can tell me if you like it. Yeah, just a little bit tinted. My Kindle that has no battery so I need to charge it because I do like to read on the plane. Chanel hand cream, AirPods and I don't know but 20 euros. That is it and none of this would be possible if it wasn't for my organizer that I have inside my Duvel. This is from Samorga. A little bit dirty but I mean if this wasn't inside of this it would be on my bag and it just helps the bag keep the shape because honestly it's quite it's not a search trip bag at all so yes I highly recommend you to get an organizer from Samorga if you want to have the wheel or any tote that doesn't really have structure or many pockets and I do have a discount code and it's LU20 they make organizers for every single handbag that you can see this video is very kindly sponsored by them so thank you so much Samorga for sponsoring this video I've shopped from Samorga since the day that I started buying designer bags so working with them for me is like amazing I really love doing that I'm gonna pack the bag again and after this I don't know if we're gonna go to the movie or if we're gonna go to the beach I hope that we can go to the beach because it's probably gonna be the last time that we can oh and I forgot to tell you guys so I've been talking to Polo and probably when we're in Barcelona he said that he wants to have another puppy now that we're moving and I'm really really excited about that honestly the idea of a, another puppy and Masha having a little sister that would be really, really cute. I don't know what I'm gonna do because I know that I'm gonna have more free time and I'm honestly not even used to having free time. I'm always wanting to do something and if I'm not doing something, I feel like I'm procrastinating and I hate myself for not doing something at that moment. So let's see how it goes. I need to close some of the luggage and I mean, she's so distracting. I cannot even think. Now that she's done, what I was saying is that I'm gonna finish some things and let's see what we do tonight. And if not, I'll see you tomorrow. The the way that it follows my face is kind of creepy because if I move just a little bit, I feel like it's gonna make everyone dizzy.
Hi guys, so it's Friday. We are an hour away from finishing with the house. They already took the van. Um, I'm already all packed, so tomorrow in the morning we're gonna fly. I feel a little bit overwhelmed. When we get to my friend's house, I'm gonna open the luggage again because I don't want the bags to be there for such a long period of time. I know that they're not squishing each other, but still it makes me a little bit nervous to know that they're not just standing up on a shelf. So I want to arrive and open them up and let them be. I did sleep much I don't know if it happens to everyone but every time that I have like something big coming up the next day it can be a trip an exam I don't know whatever I just can't sleep I, I was staying up like it was like 3 a.m. and I was looking at the ceiling and then I turned around and Polo was wide awake as well I know that you haven't seen him on the vlog but it's because we have been dividing the workload in terms of the move so I'm dealing with all the things that we're keeping I'm packing them I'm making sure that everything is organized shipping boxes and he is the one dealing with getting rid of everything and basically leaving the house the cleanest that we can so right now I just finished the packing all of our clothing and he is taking away some trash cleaning it up a little bit so in one hour that they arrive everything's cool and we can just leave the house I feel weird leaving this house because we were here for a little bit over two years and it does feel like everything is gonna change a lot and I'm really excited about the changes and I didn't think that I was gonna feel emotional about living because I've been so excited to just live and do something new that now that it's like the last night sleeping in our bed the last time that we go to this cafe that we go have breakfast the last time that we go to our favorite sushi restaurant and those types of things are what are making me feel a little bit sad I guess but I keep telling myself that this is what I want and that it's gonna feel way better once we leave I think that today and tomorrow is gonna be a little bit hard because I'm gonna have to say goodbye to my best friend I'm gonna miss her so much I've always been someone that doesn't have many friends and I'm used to not having many friends but right now that I'm a little bit used to being with my boyfriend for the old time and being with Agatha all the time going and knowing that I know absolutely anyone in Barcelona that I will not work I am not going to school will probably not go to the gym because I'm not a gym person I like to exercise at home gyms give me anxiety I don't like going so I don't see where and how I am going to make friends we will have to see how that goes because I have no idea so rounding it up the plans for today are leave the house cancel Wi-Fi cable the car situation will be arranged we're gonna leave the car with one of my dad's friends and then my dad when he comes to Mexico I think he will eventually come so he will just pick the car up so yeah we're just gonna basically drop the car and that's it <laughs> so okay see you in whatever i vlog next parents house and I'm very very glad that we can finally rest a little bit so today we're just gonna hang out in the pool with the dogs maybe cook here I hope that I can vlog a little bit maybe we can take the boat out so so far the move was a success really happy with the results house completely empty not our problem anymore and yeah right now my only worry basically is paperwork for Barcelona and work on my videos vlog a little bit feels very surreal that that's my only worry now and I don't have like work and school I'm gonna change and let's go hang out in the pool a little bit 
let's go so i think she's quite tired just gonna let her nap but i'm sure that she's gonna pop up at the pool with me hey guys so as promised let's go with how the bags arrived so here's my speedy i unfolded it and inside i have a couple of other bags let me show you you can see we have the mini polena ones and also the chicken nugget bag inside here i believe here is my chanel 19 let's check here's the chanel 19 in the oreo of course my vintage monsters here we have um this has to be my toy lulu here it is perfect here we have my green classic flap my kelly to go in gold here is my pound springs mini here here we have this has to be my bobby bag yes this is the bobby bag here we have the bobby bag it has a couple of scratches on the hardware let me put it here and here we have the lady dior in white right over here we have this chanel section so here is my chanel boy bag here we have my black classic flap but i want to show you how they didn't get squished inside of the bag so let me put them on the bed and let's take it out so this one was the one that i was the most worried about because of course it's lumping and it was on the bottom of the luggage here it is we can see that it's perfect nothing happened to it same with the rest of the bags here we have the gray caramel the blue classic flap here we have the mini in lambskin here we have the white classic flap this has to be the vintage because it's a little bit slimmer so yeah this is the vintage classic flap i have a little bit of dust that i do have to note and here we have my jumbo now here these ones were the last that i brought with me so here is my picotin this is my vintage kelly this is my gold birkin this is my vertebrae kelly and here we have the black birkin so all of them are here safe and sound and since we're sleeping in polo's bedroom like his childhood bedroom we don't have much space that i managed i think my clothing is here like in these things i just put my clothing inside i don't really need new friends so spend your time with me looking for someone who can play though wanna hang with me i'm not really looking for a friend so spend your time with me looking for someone not afraid of 